if you want to be your own chef, be a content creator because people are hiring more and more photographers, videographers and motion designers. But the big question is how to start, what gear do I need, how much money do I need to spend in the gear and do I need the fanciest gear on the market to be a good content creator. So let's talk about it. Hi, I'm Max and I'm a content creator and on this channel we discuss about filmmaking gear, the creative process and how to become a better content creator. After this pandemic, which is not done yet, uh, it has never been so accessible to become a content creator because everyone needs your video skill, your photo skill, your motion design skill. So consider subscribing to jump on the bus. That's expensive, like 4D, R5, A7S3 and Z9. At some point you do, we have to work with this kind of camera. But if you're just starting your content creation career, do you really need one? Hmm. As a beginner, you don't feel confident, you're not ready to start, you don't want to jump, you don't want to spend a lot of money in your gear because you don't have the money or you don't know if you are going to succeed. But don't worry because today's questions are related to your need. You want to be a content entrepreneur right now or in the future? Well, do you need to dream about those fancy cameras? Do you need them? And what is the future going to look like? I am opening this subject today because I sometimes watch a lot of videos about those fancy and pricey cameras and I do feel like I'm losing my time because I don't need this specific camera to do this video or I don't have the budget and I know that we all have the same question so that's why I want to share my experience with you and help you to decide if you need one or not. One year ago, I've decided to be a full-time content creator and this is why I've set a budget to buy the Sony a7S III. And because I want to help you to decide whether you need or not a fancy camera, I'm going to share with you the choices that I made and the habits that I have now so you can decide for yourself. First thing first, when I started, I didn't know what the light was going to be. I didn't have any light anyway. So that's why I've decided to go with a full frame camera. I remember when I did this video for a bakery, it was all dark and red and I didn't want to have any noise in the image. So going with a full frame camera, it's a good choice if you don't want to struggle with light. Then I knew that I was going to shoot in 4K because I'm exporting in 1080p and shooting in 4K allows you to crop in the image without losing quality. And finally, I mainly shoot in 24 frames per second, 60 frames per second, and sometimes in 120 frames per second when I really need. So for those three reasons, I think I made the right decision by buying the Sony a7S III back in January 2021. So let's be real about the Ronin 4D. This camera seems incredible. It's like a 6K or 8K camera on the only four axis gimbal in the entire world. So the price is not surprising me, but this camera is heavier and bigger. So it's not made for all types of video. It's not made for someone moving from one country to another. It's more for a tiny crew or a business growing. So we have now two other options. We have the R5 and we have the Z9. and I don't want to talk about the R5 because I don't want to be rude, but the Z9 is going to help us to understand what is the future going to look like. And I know this option is more expensive, but you're going to understand with just two specs that this is the future. Okay, it's 2,000 US dollar more than the R5 and a 7 III, but it's shooting in 8K and you have internal ProRes RAW. The Ronin 4D, which is more a cinema camera is doing it and the Z9 is doing it as well, but it's a mirrorless camera. So here is what I think. I'm not a guru, but I really think that in the next five to seven years, all the cameras around $4,000 and more are going to have 8K and ProRes RAW. Why 8K? It's because more and more devices nowadays allow us to watch 4K videos. So you will need a 8K camera to produce a 4K video so you have flexibility when you're editing. And why ProRes RAW is just because we love 
flexibility as content creators and progress world is allowing you to bring back darkness five to seven years if you're thinking or if you are a content creator i first want to encourage you to pursue in your hardware because i know that sometimes you feel alone sometimes you don't know what to do next but for sure invest in a good camera if you want to be serious and if you want to produce high quality footage the r5 the a7 III, the black magic pockets the z9 they are the way to go that's all for today's video if you have any complaints questions it's in the comment down below i'd be pleased to answer you uh, by a nice comment or a nice video don't forget to like this video as well and subscribe and ring the bell till the next one you can watch some videos at the end about my book pros and stuff. Take care.